Hey everyone, welcome to the long-awaited season something or other Dwarf Fortress. It's been, I don't know, like a... I don't know if I would be exaggerating if I said it's been a year. Who cares? Hi, welcome back everybody. It's It's been a while and I made some empty promises, but here I am. I'm in the mood to play Dwarf Fortress and God damn it, even if it's going to keep me up until 2 a.m., I'm going to record Dwarf Fortress because that's what I feel like doing. <clears throat> now, uh, I've gone through a lot of uh, recording setup set shifts um, between this season and the last one. I'm pretty sure the last season I was still using, like, Camtasia or something. I don't know. Um, but now I got, like, the new microphone. I got the you know, audio filters. I've got uh, <coughs> I've got a tighter grasp on my, my situation with copyrighted music. Uh, <laughs> and um, I'm also a lot more... Uh, I do... I confident in myself, and that's what's important. Confidence, because no matter how dumb you are, it's gonna look good if you're confident in yourself. So, hi. Uh, I believe like several months ago, I released a video where I said uh, I, g I gave a basic plan for what I was going to do with a fortress, and and I I had like this big grand idea for um, designs, and I actually made a couple doodles of that, uh, but. Alas, I don't actually have the patience to go through and design that in a 3D scape. So I've lowered my expectations a little bit, and I think for the first couple... Sorry, I forgot I turned up the volume on my microphone, so that snap was really loud. From for the first couple of seasons, or season, for the first couple of years of this fortress, we're going to live in like a little castle thing which will, like, be designed to hold up to, like, 70 population at most. <clears throat> it's basically just going to be, like, a, a tavern with some rooms around it, right? Um, and then once 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 we start, like, getting a bigger population, I can go ahead and, you know, shift it so that, like, the tavern is, like, a road going through the castle and it goes deeper into, like, an undercity, Right? I want to end up with a city-based fortress here, not like an actual fortress fortress, but for now we're going to make an actual mountain hall, um, right in this mountain. Now, uh, I've gone ahead and actually made a world uh, several months in advance. Um, it's year 250, we've got a lot of uh, play space here because we don't have any trees or anything. Oh, we do have a couple trees, um, but mostly we're on like bare mountain tiles, um, so lag shouldn't be too bad. We've also embarked on a cave. That's something that I didn't mean for, so we're gonna have to, like, seal that up immediately, because I have no idea what's down there, and I don't want to find out until I'm damn good and ready for it. Um, so, first order of business right away. Um, make sure we're not doing markers, okay? First order of business right away is uh, go get some rocks and just fill that in. <clears throat> oh, yeah, units. Um, we've got as you can see, seven miners, which is a, a strategy. It's not optimal, but it's something that I usually do um, in order to get like get a bigger starting point. Now, uh, for supplies, I believe I only have um, food and lignite, which is going to jumpstart um, enough food for like you know seven miners to live on for for several months. I've also brought extra pickaxes, um, apparently, and a bunch of lignite which uh, is going to jumpstart our furnaces once we, you know, get burrowed into the mountain. Now, what I, what I did that for is I, I kind of want to try having, like, a bronze industry. I've never played with bronze in Dwarf Fortress, and that's something I really want to do. Um, as you can see, I've been thinking about this for a while. Great, didn't give us a, didn't give us a boulder. All right, come on, try again. I just need one, please. God damn it. I just need one boulder. Please, just one boulder. Come on. <sighs> so, in the past, I've also um had like gimmicks or whatever. When when there's nothing like uh, the Hermit Fortress, I had doodles and stuff. Um, I think in one I played dungeon crawl while my dwarves were digging things out. Um. I have instruments and stuff. I don't know what I'm going to end up doing during the uh, boring patches. I might, you know, maybe do things off camera. We got our diorite now. I'm going to go ahead and... 
Yeah. Now, I believe most of these dwarves have like a standard skill set. I actually have dwarf therapists this season. Hang on. Oh yeah, we're still using an old version, and if you're wondering what the square tile set is, it's a baked into Dwarf Fortress, I believe. It's a Curses Square 16 by 16 or something. You gotta, All you gotta do is go into the uh, init and uh, switch it up. Oh, I'm not sure if it's baked into Dwarf Fortress or not. Uh, here we go, let's just get that, and let's get a second window capture here. Uh, window capture... Don't make it visible right off the bat. Uh, therapist, there we go. All right, here we go. Here's Dwarf Therapist. Um, that makes it a little easier to see what skills these guys got. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I've made them all miners and stone detailers and architects. That's it. They all have mining, stone detailing, and architecture, which, you know, because I, I tend to use a lot of pillars in my designing. Oh, you know what? We still have uh, professions from before. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. Yep. Just because that's from another season. Um, search? Clear filter? I don't know. Alright. We can get rid of that now. You don't need to see that at all times. Okay. Now, uh, I want to get started by we're going to Find a place where it's decently steep and I won't run into a cave in building. How about right here? It's pretty steep. Uh, here. This right here. All right, so I want to try to envision what we're dealing with here because I want it to be like a flat wall. Switch it to marker. Switch it to uh, channels. Um, see, the only reason I think this cave is inhabited is because we got like little um, trinkets and stuff. Oh, you know what? sure my cursor is visible there you go there we go good can can you see it now i hope so because i i can't i can't i can't see both dwarf fortress and obs at the same time uh i hope so but we got like these little trinkets around on the ground uh well, that's what leads me to believe that the uh cave is inhabited all right you think uh 30 blocks is 40. I think that's appropriate. And then down to the ground. Oh my god, all right. You know what? I, I might have I might have made it a little too high. <laughs> all right, right there. That's fine. And then the rest of the levels we can make like a little ramp. All right. So, I'm thinking maybe like a multi-terraced uh, fort here, since it kind of like up here it gets kind of narrow underground. Yeah? But, I'm going to need to um, let me move my microphone to an easier spot to control Dwarf Fortress with. It's still set up for, like, Cataclysm. Yeah, we are. All right, so, so this is still, um, it's a little narrow up top. And the thing is, I need to, like, design the uh, upper levels to um, fit into, like, the, the narrowest part. So, um... All right, so everything past here has to go for at least a couple levels. How about um, three, maybe? Oh, shit. We'll figure it out. All right, so the top layers are going to have to fit into that. Now, what I'm going to do here is actually, like, sculpt it. Oh, fuck. No, you know what? I need I need those because we're, we're carving it out, right? Sorry, I'm getting confused by my own methods. All right, so we're going to need to, like, sculpt this um, by doing, um, by channeling this out and then canceling where I want the fort to be. So, like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just making sure it's even on both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I'm going to go ahead and actually just extend this extend the entire thing right there okay so the top level um are we gonna make it like square or circular themed you think how about diagonal octagon themed like that octagons <laughs> dwarfs like octagons right oh god 
Okay. So. Mm. We're thinking about like, I don't know. Do I want that on the top floor here? Or am I going to want like some kind of roof? Nah, you know what? If I want, I can just uh, expand, like make this into like a little tower coming out of the mountain. Okay. So I'm going to want that to be like the basic shape for like the top level. And then I want to make it kind of like rocky. Okay, so we're going to need to cancel this, these. You know, I can make a macro for this. Um, Control R, I believe is record. Okay, that, 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 and then I got to make sure I remember where I started the macro. Okay, and then go back to the starting point. And I'll play that. Yeah, hell yeah. All right. And now that's going to pretty much copy and paste that little thing onto all layers, including the bottom one. Even though that's probably going to get overridden. Okay, so we've got like this little circle tower thing, which um, when we get to the top floor, I'm going to expand it up upwards a little bit into like a little dwarf spire. Maybe we can put like the throne room up there or something. Don't plan too big. Don't plan too big. I just want this to like fit at least 70 people. Um, how many levels am I going to put into this? Um, so the top floor is going to be one, two, three. And then right here is where I should start the top of the next one. Uh huh. All right, so. Shit, dude. All right, you know what? Little octagons. Like uh, that, and then there. The octagon's got th three per side. Okay. And then move that across. And we're going to have to trace this, unfortunately. So I don't want to make it too complex. There. Again, I'm on camera. Normally, I, I like obsess over details when I'm off camera. That's why it took so long, because I, I just couldn't get it perfect. And then I decided, well, you know what? I really want to play Dwarf Fortress, so I'm going to go ahead and just do it on camera. And then uh, I guess we're just going to extend this thing out to here. And there. That looked plenty dwarfy. Hmm. All right, you know what? there. And the entrances can be like right on those sides, yeah? They can be right there. Hell yeah. Alright. Now, does that intersect with anything up here? No? Alright. So I'm gonna have to copy and paste that onto pretty much everything. Okay, control R, X. Ugh, I already messed it up. I want it to be on X beforehand. Alright, so, uh, record there I'm just gonna go ahead and shift move all of these fuck I messed up that one it's fine it doesn't need to be optimal okay there that's fine right yeah that's fine Almost done. And now the final little nub. All right, fine. That's fine. <laughs> that was fine. Went a little crazy, but it's fine. And then I need to return to the top. There. Yeah, we're fine. That's optimal enough for, like, two layers. There. I don't know how I feel about it. Now, the, uh... The good thing here is I was planning on making, like, the, uh, like, little caves and junk. Well, one, like, wall down here. 
Yeah. To really sell the octagon thing. <laughs> nah. Nah, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Alright, so now I want to make a little... Make it a little jagged like a like a canyon, you know. You know what might be neat if I if I make it like a flip over at the top. Yeah, all right. That's what I'm gonna do. So I want it to first couple layers. Yeah, just make it uneven so it looks a little more natural when it's going in, like it's it's, it's, it's a canyon, you know. Okay. These two, sure. Up to there, and then this up to there. Oh, forgot to put that down too. Yeah, you gotta remember working 3D. There. Okay, there we go. It's fine for there to be like discrepancies between the layers. Okay. We're gonna have some confusing geometry. <laughs> okay, I want it to maybe jut out a little bit right here. Okay. Hi, welcome to Critzy Builds Fort again. Like every season. Right, I want there to be a little rock thing that goes up to here. And then Oh god, but I'm going to have a hard time remembering what of this is supposed to be Cliff. Okay. Shit, no, that's going to translate into a floor I can't. All right, I'm going to cancel this. Make a little dip, which is actually lovely because I apparently forgot a layer here. That's fine. That's fine. Oh fuck man. I'm starting to lose the thread here. Okay, yeah. Is that rocky enough, you think? I think I can finally stop. Put a little extra dip right there. And I'll start adding extras. <laughs> Great. There. Okay, just make sure every level has at least something going on. And we might be good to s dig this out, at least. You know what? I want some floors to put pillars on. So we're going to convert these into digs yeah instead of uh, channels yeah okay how about another one third one real pillory okay these ones now nah, they don't deserve it <laughs> okay right here too And see, this is why I said that I wanted to do this off-camera, but it's fine. We're almost done with this, and then we'll start digging. Hey, you know what, let me put some pillars uh, on these three tile spaces here. And then... No, that's where I wanted it to enter, right. Yeah, okay. Could go ahead and actually maybe cancel the top just to make it like a little gate sign maybe nah uh second layer i don't want the interior to be 3d except maybe like the um the the big room other than that i want it to be pretty much empty I mean, pretty much uh, flat. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. All right. I'm I'm looking. Am I forgetting anything? Am I forgetting anything? Uh, pillars on the front of this. There and there. Want it to be a little wider so that I can put a window there or something. Okay. Good enough. That's good enough for like a little castle thing. Alright. I'm pleased enough with this for live session. Okay. Now we're going to start carving this out. By which I mean actually carving it out like, like it's a fucking sculpture. <laughs> which is pretty dwarfy, I guess. Now that the cave is sealed, I don't have to worry about the dude coming out here. Whatever's in there. To, uh, w w the, the, the yell at us for messing with his stuff. I honestly can't remember what's in there. And all we seem to have here are bobcats and yaks, so I don't really have to worry about it killing my dudes. Uh, I took a single hen with me? Okay. And these guys are going to be pretty slow at first, but they're going to get legendary pretty fast, considering I have a whole freaking dwarven kingdom for them to dig out. And now the reason I'm doing this in um, marked layers instead of, like, you know, just going and plowing through this is because I want to, um, I want to smooth out this junk. Um, I want to make sure that these are engraved and the pillars are built and everything. Speaking of such, we're going to need a mason to make a couple... Yeah, where's some... Oof. What's going on with the FPS? Something just happened underground, I think. I don't know. Workshop. Um, mason. Right. Um, by the quarry. By the pit. Hang on. Where's... um? There we go. By the entrance to our little project here, I'm going to put a mason shop. And while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to... Dwarf therapist to make sure that they are all masons. And I can easily... Where's the commit button? Is that it? Yes. Commit those changes. They are now all capable of masonry. And we're going to have them make a couple bricks. Just because they have a higher value than raw stone. For us to make our things out of. We're also going to need a manager. An early game manager. Not a permanent one. Manager... Uh, little roulette. Him. Nobody. All right. Let's try that again. Ba 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 ba. Him. Sure. Okay. He doesn't need an office yet because we're still early. Uh, blocks. Need rock blocks. Uh, about, I don't know. Ten. Ten is enough. Really, I could have literally just done that in the mason shop, but I like using the manager. All right. I've got problems with that. Okay, and while one of the dwarves is doing that, we're going to smooth out this layer. Yeah. Uh-oh, that's sand. Oh, shit. Oh, God, uh-oh. I should only really mess us up on this layer, and once we start doing the interior, we can replace that with, um, with stone. That's fine. That's fine. That's a minor setback. I didn't notice that there was sand here. Hmm. I guess south is foothills and stuff. Darn. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Like, it seems like that's just a problem on that layer specifically. All right, and who's, uh, who's doing this? Nobody. Um, prioritize. Uh, da, da, mm. Mm. They all prefer smoothing stone. Darn it. Well. No, at least they got it done fast. Am I going to want to engrave anything? I want to make sure I engrave less than seven. Here, how about I engrave between the pillars, yeah? There, there. Just. Just on this, because I can't actually... Reflect. If I engraved there, I wouldn't be able to do it over here. Sure. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. One of them should be doing the uh, bricks. Yes. Cool. Now there is actually a. Um, I I could sit here with it paused as long as I want, but there is actually a uh, time limit as far as uh, getting it done. Uh, because we're going to have like an influx of people soon, and we're going to need facilities to uh, facilitate them, which includes, um, you know, at least a small garden to grow stuff with, um, places that they won't get traumatized by being in the rain. We done? Seems like we're done with this layer. Um, no, we aren't. We need those blocks. Just switch these to that. Get rid of these ramps so I can build them and also smooth out those spots. Really could have used the mouse for that one. I'm going to be up until 2 a.m. recording this, dude. Okay, we're done with that part. Now smooth them. Four, five. That's fine. It'll look fine. It'll look good enough. Maybe we should engrave them too. Just to add a little more value to the uh, architecture of my fort and to give them a little more experience. Sure. Sure. Practice. Engravings that I will never see, but, you know, the uh, broker will take into account. <laughs> you gotta pull every penny out. Can't shirk anything. How many we got here? Manager, seven out of ten are left. But the thing is, with um, it's not like I'm building a structure this time. So as soon as we're done with uh, those seven, we're pretty much set for like the entire construction process. Maybe I should get them to make some statues. Nah, I'm gonna wait until I have an actual mason. Peasants are fine making blocks, but when you need real shit. Oh, we got, like, these black bars on the top and bottom. Which uh, I tried to fix before I started recording. I'm not, like, saying I've just noticed them. Just, you know. I, I tried to fix them. Right, now we need, um... This is the reason that we have, uh... Architecture on these dudes, because I'm going to be using a lot of supports. Where are they? Where are they? Where's supports? Where are they? I know the hotkey, but I can't... There they are. Alright. If you use the hotkey, it doesn't automatically place it back on there. Okay, support there. Support there. Let me auto-select the material. Um, what's the hotkey for that? I can't find it. I don't, it might not have that on there. Pillars might not have that capability. Okay. And then we will be finished with this layer. We can move on to the next one to do the exact same thing. Now they're going to be pissed off about getting in the rain. Nice. Just fill them up. Cool. Now, I wish I could tell what quality the uh, constructions are. But no, Dolomite Pillar. Do you get any thoughts about them already? Um, fondness, talking to a friend, annoyed, caught in the rain, drinking without a goblet. Oh, that's something I should get sorted really quick. Um, I just built a st stone workshop right next to him. No, Craft Dwarfs. Craft Dwarf right next to him, right next to this goon. Out of dolomite. Um, you know what? Leave it unpaused. Uh, let me switch over to the therapist. Uh, give them all also stone crafting. Stone, 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 stone. Where's. Well, you know what? You can't see the cursor on that one either, can you? No, yeah, you can. Well, you should be able to. Um, stone crafting. Where it at? There it is. It's over here instead of with the uh, other crafts. Okay. Commit. 
Nice. Just a couple mugs. Don't really need the uh, manager for that. And then once somebody's doing that, yep, somebody's doing that, we'll start the next layer. Carving it out. Where we will repeat the entire thing we just did. I'm a little sleepy though, because again, it's pretty late. And I only have my regular co uh, coffee which isn't normally suited to uh, staying recording until 2 a.m. But, you know, I wanted to see how this would go if I tried this again. Oh, you know what? You can still see Dwarf Therapist. Sorry. Hope that wasn't up for long. I'm going to go ahead and shrink it so that if I forget about it again, it's not going to obnoxiously take up more than half the screen. There we go. Oh, see? There. You don't really need to see the details of what I'm doing. You can just... You know, it's just there so you know I'm doing something. Okay. And are those mugs done? Where are they at? Yep. And our... We have one more order of blocks. And the table. Let's make just a couple tables. No, you can't put a dining room outside. I was going to say we could set up a little picnic area, but no. Ah, I see. The whole mining thing is causing the lag. I hope this... the world size hasn't... upset my computer. See? I don't have the FPS indicator on, though. And... Done. Okay, so, first things first, make sure these aren't delayed, because we're going to need to put pillars there. Second thing second, oh, uh, wait, wait for those to be done. Okay, let's move out all these. Should I leave the uh, edges rigid, I mean rugged? Yeah, no, I already did them on up there. How about I uh, leave a little bit of a lip right there, move the ramp. We find uh, we're going to have a... I'm just trying to remove ramps where we're going to have any there. And we got these things smoothing. I also want to smooth under where the pillars are going. Nice. I hope we have enough blocks. Oh, actually, we only have enough blocks for 10 levels, actually. I've just realized uh, four blocks per order. I only did 10. We only have 40 blocks. And it takes one, two, three, four, five per layer. <laughs> oh, oof. I might not have made enough. I thought that would be enough for the entire construction process. Pro I vastly underestimated the material requirements for this endeavor. All right. Uh, manager, uh, make a block. Ten more blocks. Whenever he has time. They seem to prioritize pretty much anything else over making blocks. Smoothing is done, so... Smoothing is done. Shit, wait, 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 wait. No, I wanted to engrave them, right? Engrave, two, three, four, five. Then the middles. How about... How about it next to the towers, too, since we actually have stone on this level? Nice. Cool. Y'all gonna do it, or re Ah, they're taking a nice snack break. At least they have mugs now. We're also getting a lot of blocks. I mean, a lot, a lot of boulders. 
because of the whole multi-Z level excavation that we're doing here. I'm hoping by the end of this episode this whole thing is going to be excavated at least, and then we can start working on the uh, interior next episode, when we'll probably start getting migrants and junk. Test something out here. Okay, got it. Uh, let me adjust my position. Are we done engraving yet? Yes, now we can work on the pillars. Right, pillars. Really wish I could set these up so that I could automatically select the blocks, since of course the boulders are going to be closer, but whatever. It's fine. Okay. Anything else I need to do on this level, or are we going to be good after that? I think next level is where we start um, the uh, ramparts. Yeah. Cool. You know what? Actually, should I build fortifications on these, or should I um, should I carve them? You think? But carved. I don't know. Yeah, because I don't have many blocks. I want to carve them. Right, so. Record. There, there. I'm just going over the edges of this. It doesn't need to be like actual fortification. Just style points, you know? Okay, so I believe I started it from this tile, right? Oof, I hope so, right? Oh gosh, no, I think I, I think I, I misaligned it. Oh, oh, it was one tile too far north. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't jank anything up there. Oh, make sure I'm doing a marker. Oof. There we go. I don't know how much um how much a uh, fortification adds to it. Oof. Please. Oh please. Okay, okay, no, I think I did it. I've done it. Yes. Okay. That's good. Okay, now do that. But with smoothing. There we go. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, now do that except with unmarking. Oh, fuck! Oh, I've, do I've, I've done it again. Undo it. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, uh... There. That's the tile. There. All right. There. Yeah, we're gonna need to unramp that. there unless I want to make all of those ramps nah nah we're fine so when we get down there I'm going to smooth all of these out to make them uh, fortifications ah screw it let's make some statues uh, it's a statue. Make some rock statues. Let's make uh, eight. Eight rock statues. Yeah. Cause we're, I'm I'm gonna want to put some uh, statues on top of these pillars. Yeah. I don't know where else I might. Oh, smooth that out. Nice. I'm not going to bother moving any of the rocks unless they're inside. I know it's sloppy, but you know, I can't be asked. You know, this... No, you know what? I am going to be asked. <laughs> uh, zone, right here. Dumping zone. Uh, the, oh, no. Oh, what's that? What's that? Um, DBD. There we go. I'm a little rusty, all right? Play. Yep, dump all of those out. Because I don't want them to get stuck on top of it. 
dbd, dump that out. Oh, we need to remove some ramps over here, right? Yeah, all right. Unfortunately, these guys aren't great at making statues. They're just, they're more about uh, the production of, of, uh, of, of the engravings. There we go. It's looking okay. It's looking passable. You know, most people don't try at all. They just make square rooms. Not sure what I'm going to put in this space, but I'm going to put in this space a uh, tavern. Yeah? Yeah. Slash depot. Maybe I can put, like, the depot above the tavern, yeah? Overlooking the tavern. Nice. Maybe. It's, it's going to be a tall-ass tavern either way. Uh, make, uh... Make these fortifications for windows. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's going to slop up my design uh, during this step. Nobody's dumping out those rocks. Ah, because I have uh, orders. Orders set to not collect refuse outside. All right. Pro tip. You can't dump outside stuff unless you order them to... Where's refuse? Refuse, refuse. Again, I'm sloppy. Refuse. Uh, gather refuse from outside. Except vermin remains. There we go. Now they'll dump them out. See, that's going to slop up my... Uh, my design here because now you can see the stone inside but when I carve this out it's gonna be fine and you know, that's probably gonna happen next episode I can't remember how it goes I'm trying to do ancient stones from Skyrim Dun 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 da 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 dun da dun dun da 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 dun da dun dun da 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 Oh, we're missing a ramp right there. Get that out of there. Also not dumping No, yeah we are. Messed it up. I don't know. Let me try it on this one. We done yet? Oh, we're missing smoothing on that one. Get that done. That's not how it goes. Whatever. See, that's one that I've been trying to learn for years, but for some reason I just, I draw a blank anytime I try to get to that next part. Like, you know, I've got that first part down pretty good, I think. And then I draw a blank. No idea what comes after that. Big dummy idiot. God damn it, I'm pretty sure I said I wasn't going to do music. <sighs> Whatever. I guess it's too late now. Um, alright, well, we're done with this layer yet, finally? Yeah, I think so. Let me just scan it over while I'm doing this. Yeah, it looks pretty done to me. I'm gonna start next, next layer. Which is going to involve a lot more smoothing and also, I'm going to need some scaffolding to get the dwarfs over... Nope, never mind. Right. I put gaps in the uh, fortification walls. This is going to take a little more work because now we're getting into places where there's actual floors. going to have to remove the ramps, then smooth them, then... Yeah. 
I'm going to go ahead and leave the edges unsmoothed still so that it's clear that that's supposed to be like cliffs that this thing is dug into. I might have put it a little too far back because I wanted it to, to be like burrowed into the mountain, but not like that far. Whatever, it's it's too late. <laughs> Hope it looks good in stone sense. Set up. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. So I stop using it as a as a crutch. <sighs> Scooching back in. So I've actually been really excited to do this for a while, even if it's pretty boring. Um, once we start doing stuff, I want to kind of create a more military focused uh, fortress because we can get junk from uh, other places now. I'm not sure how exactly the raiding works, but I might want to I might want to set up a system where where I go out and raid people for uh food and junk instead of farming. That might be fun, but I'm not sure how much you can get from that and also it's going to take several years before I have the industry necessary to get soldiers equipped well enough for uh raiding. Anyway, so, I don't know. Right, and this was what I'm talking about with the uh, copious numbers of ramps. The numbers have ramped up. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, hey. Speaking of ramp, we got one right there. That I don't need anymore. No, you know what? Let me keep that one there. No, you know what? Remove that one. <laughs> there, and smooth that out. Oh, hey, it's 2 a.m., and we've been doing this for 45 minutes. I'll go ahead and push it to an hour. What's 15 more minutes on a late bedtime? Okay, now we're going to have to get rid of all these fucking ramps. Just going to have a ton of job cancellation spam. Oh, shucks, you know what? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, you know what? I didn't have to do that. Oh, my God. Because most of these are fucking channels, idiot. Except for the pillar spaces, which now I have to reapply. I'm an idiot. That side didn't need anything done. I've just created more work for myself. All right, so which ones were the... Just these two? Just these two. All right, move... Remove there. Okay. Okay, and on this side, we need to do a large scale removal of ramp. Because pretty much every tile is a ramp. And I'm going to want to dump out all these blocks. Lovely. Not blocks, uh, all these boulders. Alright, so I I'm, I'm coming to think maybe, maybe. We're not going to be able to get done with the entire exterior of this episode. But we've got a couple levels done. Oh, fuck. I left some ramps. Think my miners will dig? Dig themselves out of it? I mean, think my miners will uh, climb themselves out of this? If I tell them to dig these things out? I hope so. No, they aren't. They're just... Literally one tile. I know for sure you can dig yourself out of that, buddy. Oh, Lord. What weak baby men. What, what pathetic children. Oh, look, what clever children. See them study, watch them learn. How I hate those goody goody... <clears throat> Stop. Okay. And we can empty this out. Oh, apparently the, uh, 
monster loot is forbidden. I forgot about that. Oh my god, there's so much to dump out. Oh yeah, uh, also, I, I figure this is probably not going to be done before the first migrant wave arrives. That's why I have extra pickaxes. Not sure how many I was able to buy. But yeah. Got some extra pickaxes for uh, extra labor. Let's get this done faster so that uh, the first mouths to feed are able to feed themselves by helping out digging instead of just being useless breathing hunks of burden standing around the wagon waiting for things to get done <laughs> I suppose I should wait for these guys to finish dumping things out shouldn't I uh, but I'm so I, I'm so frantic to get things done I, I gotta do it I, I gotta start the uh labors even if they don't do them yet oh shit I accidentally ordered some uh some of the designated dig zones to be smoothed I don't know why I'm not just like blanket ordering pretty much everything here to be smoothed I don't know maybe so it's easier to blanket order all of this stuff to be fort fortified fortification -ified. This is supposed to be pillars. Yeah. There, 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 and there. Yeah. Cool. I might make a like these three into engravings instead of fortification because that's right above a window yeah oh but now I can't just blanket fortify them dang it no yeah I can I can just uh cancel that cancel the ones on the fort on the uh, engravings okay cancel those ones nice uh how about these two as well yeah cool you know what I'm pleased with this it's pretty good for like 10 minutes of work well 10 minutes of design work oh also engrave these Thankfully, as they get lower down to the ground where people are actually going to see things, they will have more experience in engraving and hopefully in produce better engravings for people to actually get happy thoughts about other than uh, rather than the uh the the swill they're producing up here that only like soldiers are going to see maybe if I actually use up here for anything. Okay. We're still dragging stones out. People are sleeping, taking naps in the work site. I'm sure that's an OSHA violation right there. If my workers are sleeping on the scaffolding. Sorry, I was thinking about designs here. So... The um, the the idea for the bronze thing. I just I, I really like the idea of like a bunch of uh, bronze wearing dwarves, huddling in like a, a little castle. I I don't know why it, it just it reminds me of Spartans. So I was thinking I would try the whole military centric uh, fortress. You know, um, industries focusing around producing weapons and junk and uh, having almost every civilian in like training you know like setting them up into squads maybe and organizing so that each squad has like you know certain labors so that when one squad goes into training uh the next one 
um, replaces the labors that they were, you know, I don't know. Uh, either that or I could just trust that we're going to have enough dwarves to do jobs. <laughs> or just assign them as they go. Who cares? Point is, I want, I want a lot of military dwarves and I want them to wear bronze. Like, like uh, fucking Spartans. It's going to be cool. All right? But I'm not going to overthink it like I used to, and I'm not going to try to be assholes and, and just massacre anybody because that caused weird, weird interactions <laughs> where everybody stopped working and I had to end the series early. <sighs> All right, we're almost dragged everything out. I'm going to go ahead and create small work, such as creating the supports here. You and you and you. Oh, wait. Got to make sure I engrave these smooth, 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 smooth. Right? Oh, wait. Missing one right there. Yeah? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can smooth things under supports. I just I want to be safe. Better safe than sorry. I also got to pay attention to how many bricks I still have. Build, uh, no, wait, engrave, engrave, engrave. Again, experience and extra value. We don't have these dump ordered yet. We're fine. We only have like six more things left. We'll get them out eventually. Did we do the statues yet? Yeah, we did. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't want. Oh, okay. I didn't want these ones to be statues. Yeah. One of them to be. Um, yeah, I didn't want them to be uh, pillars. I wanted them to be statues. There we go. Build a statue. There we are. Can I expand these? What's the what's the highest quality ones? Oh god. All right. Just use the lowest quality ones. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wait, wait, wait. Build statue X. X. Lowest quality. I believe both of the statues I picked are statues of dwarves. So that's at least topical. Statue of dwarves. Dwarves. By Alban. Well, can't go wrong with just plain old dwarves. What about here? Statue of, of Dwarves, again, by uh, by Aban. <clears throat> Aye! Oh, good old classic! Dwarves! Dwarl! Right. I'm not in the mood to do silly voices. Okay, we got like 70 blocks. We're fine. If I'm just using them for pillars anyway. But knowing me, I'll probably find some way to overcomplicate things. Should I put pillars between... Nah. Did I remember to engrave them? I think so. Whatever. Who cares? How about I blanket order some smoothings now, huh? Except on the edges here, because I don't want the uh, cliff to be smoothed. I just want the walls. Hence this and the floors to be smoothed. Now this is going to be a decent bit of experience for them, so that's nice. Might have accidentally... Nope, that's a ramp, so it won't open up. Uh, yep, we got all the ones I want, and I don't think we're including any I don't want, so it's great. Alright, here we go. Ah, hey! <laughs> it's literally as I snapped. I'm gonna pretend I snapped because I I I predicted them coming. Okay. How many we got? I hope we have enough pickaxes for them. Is that it? I think we do. All right. Let me switch over to you. Uh, refresh. All these dudes. Oh, we only have four workers. 
make sure those guys are now miners. Oh, this guy's actually an engraver. Oh, these both these guys are in, adequate engravers. I'm going to go ahead and cut them out, though, because I want good engravings. And they only have adequate engravings. Okay. I'm also going to go ahead and cut these guys out of masonry, since one of them is already starting to excel in it. There. Done. Unpausing. You know what, I should have let them keep engraving things, because cause I just realized we have a lot of excess engraving to do. <laughs> yeah, you know what, I'm not going to bother refreshing it. There you go. They're allowed to engrave now, as soon as they want to get working. <laughs> I didn't take any seeds with me. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. I don't think I did anyway. Let me check. Did I take anything with me? Where is wagon? Here we go, wagon. Uh, meat fish. I already got several empty barrels. Not all empty barrels. Also, we only have two more picks. No, three. Three picks. Nice. That took plenty. <sighs> I would get someone starting in on the uh, on the forges, but I want to do that inside since it's going to be a pain in the ass to move all the coal and stuff once they once I get it established so hmm what can I have these two doing so I've got some some dudes down here I don't have an axe yet do I you're a tanner we don't really have anything anything for them to do yet Hmm. I'd make them herbalists and have them go on a little gathering spree for extra food, but maybe some seeds. I'm going to go ahead and try to dig m minimally. Like, I'm going to try to con compress things instead of, like, digging tons of tunnels and, and junk that like I usually do. I want to just make sure that we live in the minimum possible space, have a designated workshop where I fit as many things inside as I can. No like special buildings for things or anything. No like big herb garden cave. We're just going to have organized farms. It, like an organized little garden inside. Maybe up here in the uh, upper floors or something where I have accidentally dug into sand, which is going to look awful in stone sense. <laughs> okay. Also, reclaim this because I want you guys to dump it, dummies. Okay, so we're done with this floor. Great. Now let's start on the next one because I don't think we have anything else. Wait. Silly me. Where did, where did I have the fortifications? They were behind the pillars. Okay. Behind the pillars are fortifications. Between the pillars are engravings. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay, anything? Yep. Here and here and where? And... Actually, whatever. I also have an idea for what I'm going to do with uh, these. I'm going to go ahead and make these markings, actually. Just, you know, so I don't forget... I want these to be stairwells. And this up here is actually going to keep going up. So you know what? Just make it a up down stairwell across the board. And I forgot to make it markings. Fantastic. Those are the stairwells. Lovely. There. Again, they're markings just so I don't Forget about them. Forget about them. <clears throat> I'm obnoxious. Episode's almost over, right? Oh, it actually is supposed to be over three minutes ago. Okay. Well, I hope I hope you've enjoyed seeing Dwarf Fort. If I end up uploading this, I don't know yet. It's been a while. Uh, I'm excited. I'm also very under-caffeinated, so...
This has been more of a mellow experience for me at least, and they have decided to shirk the engraving, which is something that happens often when you update tiles around engravings like that. Fantastic, thanks buddies. Please do the work though, thank you. Okay. Then once we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and start designating the next one. And I think I'm going to let them dig that off camera, but I'm going to save as soon as they're done. So the next episode, we, we don't have to immediately wait for the same work that we were waiting for last episode. There. And that's all I'm going to let them do. That right there. I'll see you in a couple days, yeah? Now, keep in mind, the usual length of these episodes is probably going to be about 45 minutes. This has just been a special hour-long uh, reunion sort of thing, again, if I end up uploading it. What did you think of this, huh? Think it's okay? Think I got a good thing going here? Nice little palisade sort of thing. I don't know. I'm going to go to bed now. Night-night. Bye.